So for the project we should need a Arduino Nano, a DXL335 accelerometer module, a small breadboard and some jumpers. So at first we should mount the Arduino Nano on the breadboard. mount the accelerometer now from the left the pins are PCC, X, Y, Z and ground so at first we should connect our PCC to the plus 5 volt of the Arduino Connect the X to the analog pin A0. Connect the Y pin to the analog pin A1. Connect the Z pin to the analog pin A3. And lastly the ground to the ground of the nano. Now I should plug the USB cable to program my nano. In the programming part, at first we have to define the variables which is connected to our pins. I have connected the X pin of the accelerometer ADXL to A0 pin of the Arduino, Y of the ADXL to A1 pin of the Arduino and Z of the ADXL to A2 pin of the Arduino. Again we have to declare variables X, Y and Z well where I will uh, print the values in serial monitor. Next in the void setup part we have to declare the pin as the input or output. All the pins as input pins which will take the analog values and print it digitally. And attached there is the serial begin 9600. This is given here because I want to print my values of the X, Y, and Z axis in the serial monitor. So I have given here serial dot begin 9600. 9600 is the baud rate which we have to set to read the values of the ADX cell. Now in the void loop part, we have taken analog read because we are going to read the analog values of the x, y and z. So here the x val, y val, z val are given and the analog read x, y and z are given to read the x, y and z values. Next there is the serial print of x, x val uh, in this way the, our output will come and the serial print of x val will be stored here. Okay. That is on um, the serial monitor will store the analog values on the x val and print it like this. Similar is the case for the Y file and the Z file. So this is our simple program. So just compile the sketch. After compiling is done, upload the code to your Arduino. As the code is uploaded to our Arduino, as we click on the serial monitor, you can see that some values are coming here for the X, Y and Z. And these are the values of the accelerometer in stable condition. Okay, so we will note down the values in our notepad. In stable condition, the values of the accelerometer are 324, 319 and 405. The values may differ here. I have taken the values already. So a little difference may come. As I tilt the accelerometer backwards, then you can see there is a decrement in the value of y and it decreased by 279 you can see here 278 279 
or somewhat like that 280 that is more or less 40 now as I tilt the accelerometer in the forward direction there is an increment in the value by 40 that is 359 or somewhat like that it depends on the angle we tilt the more we tilt the more will be the value the less we tilt the less will be the value the value is 359 now as we tilt the accelerometer in the left there is a decrement in the x value by 40 that is 284 you can see 282 283 284 okay the variations are coming due to my tilt as I am increasing the tilt angle, the value is going on decreasing and as I am decreasing the tilt angle, the value is going on increasing in the x-axis. It is somewhat 284 on the left direction tilt and it has decreased by 40. Now as we tilt the accelerometer in the right direction, there is an increase in the x value by 40 and it becomes 364. You can see 363, 365, 364. Okay. Don't forget to like and share the video with your friends if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you are new. So have a great day.